uh, <coughs> Chief President Larry Miller. Good afternoon. Um, I'm sure you're all aware by now that uh, the team has decided to uh, part, way, part ways with Rich Cho. Um, I just want to start out by uh, thanking Rich for all the efforts that he gave us in terms of uh, the things that he helped his team to do while he was here. Um, and uh, we uh, decided that uh, the, there was an issue as far as uh, chemistry and fit as it was concerned. And just based on where we were assessing this for some time, uh, the decision was made to uh, to move kind of sooner than later in terms of, of uh, separating uh, uh, with Rich. Also, uh, as was mentioned, Chad McCann is going to move into the uh, acting GM role, and um, we're I'm 100% confident that Chad and the team out there uh, in basketball operations will be able to uh, to get us through not only the draft but any other. Uh, things that we need to get done from a basketball operations perspective. We will uh, be uh, launching a, a search at some point to fill the GM role, but we're not going to be in any rush to do it. We are going to uh, step back, um, totally assess the situation, and uh, look at what the criteria is to bring in the right person into this role. Uh, before we do it. So we're not going to have a timeline. We're not going to be rushed. We're going to basically take our time and, uh, and bring the right person in into this role uh, sometime into the future. So with that, I'll, I'll take questions. Larry, uh, Rich apparently was the right guy 10 months ago. What happened here? Well, I think it's, um, you know, just like uh, there have been a lot of other companies that I've been involved in where uh, you know, you hire someone, you go through the process, and you think it's the right fit, and then after the person gets into the job, you realize that uh, that it isn't the right fit, and that the chemistry is just not right. And in those kind of situations, um, you know, what I found and what I think we agreed on was it's better to move sooner than later, rather than drag it out and go through a time period of trying to hope something will work out, when in reality, once you realize that it's not going to work, it's best to on. We, we did our end of year assessment evaluation and as a part of that uh, process uh, we, we determined that um, you know it wasn't going to work it was the right time. But why? I mean what was it about the fit that wasn't right? Well I, I think uh, one of the things that that's probably one of the most important things about the GM role is that there has to be a connection and a chemistry with the owner. And not, not just with the owner, but, but mainly with the owner and with the rest of the management. And the reality is, uh, in this particular situation, there just wasn't that chemistry. Larry, do you, say, do you uh, think that this is still a desirable job around the league? You just fired two general managers in the span of 10 months. Well, I, I think uh, for the right person, I think this is a great job. We have a great owner who is willing to spend money to bring players here. We have an owner who's committed to winning. Um, we have an owner who's, who loves the game of basketball. And I absolutely believe that for the right person, this is a great opportunity. This is a great job. It's our responsibility now to go out and find that right person and to take the time and go through the process and put out the effort to make sure that we bring in the right person. But I absolutely think this is a great job still for the right person. Can you overview what the right person, what you're looking for in a GM, what the right person who that is? Well, um, that's a big part of what we're going to be assessing over the next time period, over some time period. We're still right now looking at uh, you know, what it is that we need to make this the right person, what it is that we, we need to find in that right person. So we're going through that assessment process. And so right now I can't say, well, it's this, it's this, it's this. But what we are going to do is step back, look at the entire situation over the last year, and make sure that uh, you know, we try to do something that's not going to result in, in a similar situation going forward. Did something happen in the last few days that culminated in this, or is this an ongoing realization that the man you hired 10 months ago is not the man that you need for this job? Well, it, it, there was nothing in specific that happened over the last few days. I mean, I know there's been some uh, comments in the, in the uh, 
uh, media about uh, a situation with Brandon Roy uh, and, and you know the whole situation with, with suspending Brandon. That really didn't weigh on, on this decision. And, and to address that situation, actually, um, we all got together, talked about how we should address the situation with Brandon after his comments to the media, and we decided that the right thing was for Rich to uh, sit down, have a discussion with Brandon, let him know that uh, if this happened again, that we would suspend him. So that's the reality of what happened with the, the, the Brandon situation. So this this uh, that that, had, that didn't weigh on, on this decision at all. Larry, was this a chemistry issue with Paul, you, Nate, everyone? I mean, was this really widely a problem within the team? Well, I, I think the main chemistry issue was with Paul, and uh, the reality is uh, the relationship and the connection and the chemistry between the owner and the general manager is way more important than the chemistry between my role and, and the owner. And that is a, a role where those two have to be connected, there has to be chemistry there, and at the end of the day, there just wasn't. Do you worry about your fan base, um, what their reaction is going to be? I mean, two general managers in two years, it does, you know, on the outside, it looks like there is, you know, uh, confusion in the front office. Well, I, I would hope that the fans would um, look at their, the results that we've had over the last couple of years. I mean, we've made some, I think, good decisions in terms of players that we brought in here. If you look at Wesley Matthews and us going out into the free market, uh, into uh, free agency and, and bringing in Wesley Matthews, uh, the trade for Gerald Wallace, we're going to continue to try to make this team better. And the reality is, uh, this decision was really based on Paul Allen wanting to make the team better and him feeling like, and all of us feeling like, um, we had to have the right people and the right team in place. And that's really what's driving this, is the fact that we want to get better, we want to deliver a winner to this community, to this city, and we feel like uh, there's got to be the right chemistry, the right team in place to make that happen. Doesn't that make it hard for a GM to do their job, though, when they're, I mean, they got to, work around Paul's needs rather than using their own, you know, strengths and in, in their beliefs? Well, I don't think that there's any hindrance for a general manager in doing that. The way, the way our process works here in any decisions that get made is that there, there's a collaboration that occurs. And, uh, you know, the general manager weighs in, the owner weighs in, I weigh in. There's a collaboration on decisions to make a trade or to make a draft pick or to you know, anything related to the team. Mm -hmm. So the general manager, and I, and I don't think that's any different than any team where before uh, you can make a, a final decision, you know, the owner has to sign off on it. So it's no different. But the reality is I think we're even more collaborative than most teams. Larry, do you worry about what message this sends outside of Portland, the rest of the NBA, potential free agents and guys who might sign here? Well, I still think that, again, I think this is a great situation for uh, someone who would move into this general manager's role. I think if you talk to players who have been here, I, I, for instance, Jawan Howard, I still talk to Jawan uh, all the time, and Jawan's comment to me is the best year that he had in his career he spent here in Portland. James Jones, I talked to James. James is on the Labor Relations uh, on the Committee for the Players Association. And I'm on the Labor Relations Committee, I see James all the time. And James continually tells me the best year of his career was the year he spent here in Portland. So I don't think this is going to affect our ability to sign free agents or to make trades. I think Portland still has the reputation of being a great organization, a great city with great fans where players love to come and play. And I don't think that's going to change at all. And, and again, I think for the right person, this is a great situation. When now you, you talk about, that, I'm talking about chemistry and connection. Is this a communication problem with communication, or is it more like philosophical differences? Paul wanted to go one way, Rich another. I, I think it's more communication than uh, philosophy. I have a picture of the right word here. I think it's more communication than philosophy. I think, um, and again, to me, uh, the communication, the connection, the chemistry between owner and, and GM is, is critical. How do you change the process now moving forward? You're in charge of hiring the next guy, but how do you make sure he's on board with what you're doing? It seemed like things were, were great this last time around, 10 months ago. Well, again, that's why we're going to step back 
take our time, uh, look totally at the situation before we make a decision on, on moving forward and bringing someone else in. And again, I've got 100% uh, confidence, as does Paul, in the team that we have there that's being led by Chad Buchanan in terms of keeping things going in the right direction until we find that right person to bring in here. And uh, so we're, we're going to continue to look and continue to assess and, and determine what uh, qualities and characteristics uh, and criteria we're looking for. Um, we're going to go through that well before we jump out and start looking for something. Is this the we, Larry, that's going to be involved in that? You say we. Well, I'll be leading that process, but it'll be myself and Paul. And that's that's Paul. Who, yes. Will what? Chad be a candidate or anyone else in the in the scouting? Well, department? once we determine what the criteria is and, and what the qualifications we're looking for, you know, if those guys meet, if any of those guys meet that criteria or, or those qualifications, then. Um, they, they, will, they will be considered for sure. What about Phil and Steve, the assistant GMs that Richard hired? They uh, are going to stay on. We, uh, you know, we want those guys to continue to be a part of our team, and, and they will continue to, to work with Chad and Mike and, and driving our uh, basketball operations. There's some important decisions coming up, Greg Oden, uh, Andre Miller's contract, within a month or a month or so. Will, will Chad be leading that, or are you going to be heavily involved in what to do next with that? Chad will be leading it, uh, but again, I, I, I will uh, be there to assist those guys and give them any kind of help that I can uh, in terms of the decisions that get made, but also Paul will be a part of those decisions as well. So again, that collaborative uh, effort will be there and we'll make the, the decisions that we think are right around both uh, Greg and I. Are, are we going to hear from Paul? I mean, I think that might put a lot of people's feelings more at ease if he was to come and well, he's speak to a person right now. Uh, we're, we, there, there is a possibility that you know he, he may somehow communicate, but right now he's he's out of the country and, and not here to be able to attend this meeting or, or to uh, to communicate right now. We've got a couple more questions, and then we got to wrap it up. We have a wrestling match starting here, so we got. And we, that's not that doesn't mean me and anybody. <laughs> When you talk about reestablishing criteria, do you mean like uh, now going back and trying to find someone with general manager experience and those kinds of things? What are you talking about when you say reestablish well, criteria? Well, we, we will consider, uh, I, I think this was a learning experience for us. This, uh, this last year has been a real learning experience for us in terms of, you know, who it is and what type of person and what the criteria and qualifications are for this role. So we're going to take all of those learnings and based on that, we're going to de develop a criteria or who we're going to bring in, in, in uh, into this role next. And again, we're going to take our time. We're not going to rush. We're not going to set a timeline out right now. We're going to take our time and um, do everything we can to bring the right person. Can you characterize how Rich took this? Uh, I, I um, was the person who communicated this with Rich today. And, and um, you know, he, Rich was shocked, up, as, as you would expect. But to his credit, um, and to the kind of individual that he is, um, the first thing that he said in his deliberate style of communicating uh, was, well, you know, the first thing I want to say is I want to thank both you and Paul Allen for giving me this opportunity. So that just speaks to the quality of the person that that Rich is. How impactful is it on the franchise to be, I mean, you've still got Rich on contract for a couple more years, I believe, and I think that Kevin Fridgett is still being paid. Is that is that a big knock on the... Well, um, it definitely affects the bottom line, but it, it's not uh, something that's going to in any way stop us from moving forward in terms of uh, looking for the right person. You say you're going to take your time. Do you know when you're going to start that search? Will you start immediately? Will you wait till after the draft? We're not going to start immediately. Immediately what we're going to do is kind of step back and really assess the situation and really look at it. And then once we go through that process, then we'll start the search. Larry, we're going, to wrap, we're going to wrap it there. He'll be available for some one-on-ones here briefly. We do have a wrestling match that is starting, so we got to move it along quickly. So, brief, some brief one-on-ones.